For small farmers living in Negros, the Philippines, survival depends on growing a few extra crops to feed their families. And for this, as for other needs, water is essential. Fortunately, the river is a thriving source, but it's in a valley and villagers are often forced to carry bucket loads up steep slopes twice a day. Now, thanks to a ram pump introduced by the Alternative Indigenous Development Foundation, things are looking up. Sugarcane plantations are the major employers in Negros. But while these big operations can afford to irrigate their land, those living in the villages had no choice but to carry water long distances uphill from the river. After drinking and cooking, there was little left for washing or watering food crops. Now, a centuries-old device, the ram pump, powered by falling water, is proving the answer. It's a perfect machine because it's uh, making use of uh, renewable energy, uh, falling water. Like hydropower, we, you can convert it into electricity. This is the, w using water for pumping up a portion of this water to very high elevations. So you can reach with this pump places where it was like thought impossible to reach. Sometimes it seems too good to be true. They think it is impossible for that kind of system to pump without fossil fuel driven engine or electric motor. Local manufacture means the villagers have a chance to learn how to look after the pumps. We m make them locally so they can be repaired locally and uh, the one we make is so simple it works with door hinges available in any hardware anywhere in the Philippines anywhere in the world actually and car tires we teach the people to make valves we use in the pump which are made from car tires and they know how to perfectly how to maintain it and to repair it this pump drives water up from the river to a tap in Bagakai village saving these children a back-breaking journey Ram pumps really have changed lives. Before, we had carried the water um, early in the morning for o'clock. Now, then the water is here now in this place. We are very happy. We are happy because if you cannot eat, you can drink, you are already, already satisfied. <laughs> With clean water, children's health has greatly improved. Before, we had a water supply. The problem is almost all children had a diarrhea, but this few uh, past years we have we had no encountered diarrhea. There are other benefits too: the chance to generate an income. This system at Tara Village has six pumps and irrigates 30 hectares of land. Okay, what we have here is uh, the biggest system we have. Most systems we produce is for drinking water. This is an irrigation uh, system. It's good news for farmers. We use this uh, run pump for watering our plants here. For uh, consumption and more of that is uh, for uh, selling if we cannot uh, consume it. And in the cafes and shops of the city, farmers are finding a ready market among the middle classes for homegrown organic produce. The Aid Foundation is encouraging another type of planting to tie in with ram pump promotion. These seedlings of native tree species are for reforesting the watersheds around the pumps to ensure water in the future. If we will not protect the watershed, time will come that the ram pump that will be installed in that area, for example, will not anymore operate because the water will, will deplete. What would the Foundation like to do in the future? Do it even more professional. Make a quality control tower. We want to set up more installation teams. We have people who want to do that. Technology transfer to other countries. Meanwhile, officials closer to home give the pumps their full support. The technology of that ramp pump is designed for no power or no electricity. We are 80% mountainous area. It's very beneficial to our city and to my constituents.